Uh, the BJP's second list is out. Some heavyweights there in that list, including Manohar Lal Khattar, the former Chief Minister of Haryana. He'll be fighting from Karnal, so that ha that was much pretty much expected uh, after what happened yesterday. Yes. Anurag Thakur, the uh, Minister for Information and Broadcasting, he will be fighting from his seat of Hamirpur. Baswaraj Bombay, the former Chief Minister of Karnataka, will be fighting from Haveri. So he's being brought from the state to the centre. Prahlad Joshi, Parliamentary Affairs Minister, will contest from Hubli Dharwad. Tejasvi Surya, the young MP from Bangalore South. Nitin Gadkari. Nitin Gadkari has retained his seat. He will contest once again from the seat of Nagpur. This is a big one. Piyush Goel, the Union Commerce Minister, will fight from Mumbai, Mumbai North. North seat, which was uh, a BJP seat. Gopal Shetty, Shetty was the incumbent MP there. Hmm. He will fight from the Mumbai North seat. Pankaja Munde will fight from the Bead seat. Again, there were a lot of rumours about hmm. her not being in the good books of the leadership and so on. But Pankaja Munde, again, this is a move from the state to the centre. So she will fight from her father's seat, uh, from Gopinath Munde's seat of Bead. And Trivendra Singh Rawat, who is a, again a former Chief Minister, a former Chief Minister of Uttarakhand, he will be fighting from Haridwar. So some very interesting names there in the BJP second list uh, as well. Anand. Yes, uh, even as these names come across, let's just quickly go back to our guests and uh, also ask them. Ladies and gentlemen, as I speak and as we speak, please keep an eye on the leaderboard. The numbers are going up. It's the race in that 543, 543 seats. Who is going to get beyond that magic number, you know, of, uh, of 272? But more importantly, the scorecard right now, out of 89 seats, 68 is to the BJP. 21 is to the INDI alliance. So that scorecard right at the top of our screens will continue to keep updated, uh, uh, you know, refreshing and uh, adding up, aggregating as and when we add on more states. And there are more states coming through in this broadcast. We go on till 10 p.m. But uh, let's ask Suman C. Raman. Suman C. Raman, how would you see this? Four seats, the LDF on its back sway, uh, up, upswing there in Kerala and uh, UDF losing four seats, but two seats to the NDA. You think that's possible? Uh, honest answer, no, Anand. I think that the BJP will increase its vote share in Kerala, but it's not going to win anything. The only outside shot they have is Thiruvananthapuram. And uh, other than that, look, if you take 2019, the BJP led only in one assembly segment in the whole state. And that was in the Thiruvananthapuram constituency, uh, mm. uh, assembly segment called Nemo. That was the only one that they led in. So I can't see them uh, winning anything in Kerala. Potentially, we don't know, it's early days yet, so how the uh, contest in Trivandrum will, will pan out, we'll have to wait and see. Hmm. But uh, Trisur, Murli Dharan, mind you, it's Murli Dharan's home turf. Vadagara was not his home, home turf, uh, Trisur is his home turf. Hmm. So, and, uh, you know, uh, so definitely he's, he's not going to be a pushover uh, there. In fact, he's probably going to be a more formidable candidate than Pradhavan was earlier. So, I think that it's going to be much more difficult for the BJP to open its account in Kerala, but having said that, as many panelists said, for the longer term, an increase in vote share, possibly an increase in vote share also across the board, not Sir, just in Trivandrum, Patanandita, Trisur. No, not uh, just see, Parla. increase in vote share is not going to help unless they breach the 26-27% mark and that cannot happen till the time that they are able to also get uh, pull votes from the Christian community pull votes from the Muslim one, community one, one because point, it's 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 Hindus, Christians and Muslims. It's three Anand, way and it's a, it's but almost a similar breakup. Cover, your flanks, uh, places, cover your flanks analysis. Places. You yeah. keep saying that yes, the vote share the is going to go no, up. No, no, vote share going up does not happen. And I, that's why one, I'm one, one, one no, for, at the cost yeah. of trying to repeat one myself. Point. In the last five years, if all that the BJP after the Prime Minister clearly saying Kerala is the bastion that needs to be breached or there the BJP needs to make inroads, where in terms of density you have the most number of shakhas of the RSS, if all you can do is 2.5% vote share up in five years, it's a reflection and somewhere it needs but introspection. Anand, yeah, one, one second, Shumaji. One quick point. Yeah, one okay, quick okay, point. okay. Yeah. Point. Yeah. In, yeah. in, in these coming. kind of situations where two parties are actually part of an alliance outside the state but are competing with each other if there is one of the three one of the two contestants is not in with the chance you tend to have some kind of an informal vote transfer 
to the other member well, of the will alliance. They, will the that LDF happened. actually want to do it this time around and will it actually transfer its vote to the UDF and vice versa? That's the big question. If there is a three-way contest, mm -hmm. then the NDA or the BJP candidate mm -hmm. stands a chance in some of the constituencies, otherwise no. 